friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, we are continuing on with my top 10 series. I brought it back again this year. I've done it the last couple of years. And for this video, we are talking about my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks. We are rapidly approaching the end of this series. As of this moment, I've already uploaded my top 10 favorite highlighters, blushes, lip glosses, regular lipsticks, and now liquid lipsticks. Coming soon to finish this off, I will be talking about my top 10 single shadows, which is new to this series, and my top 10 eyeshadow palettes. Just to reiterate, I don't plan on going into my top 10 favorite like concealers, foundations, bronzers, powders, things like that, because I don't even have 10 of them, I think. Maybe a 10 total, but but not enough to really talk about and condense into a top 10. If you are curious about what I use and what I like, I would recommend checking out my makeup collection and declutter series from the end of last year. I revamp that at the end of every year, so last year's is the most current one. As usual, I would love to hear your guesses on what you think will be in my top 10. Uh, spoiler alert, a lot of similar ones from last year, but there are some new ones. I have discovered some new favorites. And also, the one I'm wearing right now has literally nothing to do with my top 10. I just felt like being on theme for this video. So, pink has nothing to do with you're gonna see a very common theme in this one, like you have the last couple of years if you've seen the past ones. I would also love to hear your top favorite liquid lipsticks, whether it's a top 10 or just a top in general. I would love to hear it. And before we hop into this video, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And let me just give you my accessory details. These earrings are from Undoubtedly Mad on Etsy and this choker I just got at a random shop in Orlando called Prometheus Esoterica a while ago. I doubt they even sell it anymore because their inventory changes a lot, but yeah, that's where I got it. And this hat, I think I either got from Target or Amazon, but it's also very old. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks. All right, my friends, let's dive into my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks. I've been playing with these 10 liquid lipsticks and placing them in different orders for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> and I think I've settled on the order that I like the most because I really had to factor in how often I use them and just truly which ones make my heart the happiest and it was not easy but I'm very content with it. You're definitely gonna see a few repeats from previous years, but I think there's a couple new ones in the mix as well. As usual, I'll do swatches on my hand, and then at the very end, I'll overlay all the swatches on my arm so you can see everything together. All right, so let's kick it off with number 10. Number 10, I'm kicking it off with my Melt Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ebony. This is my new favorite brown. It is so good and so dark. I also love Melt's Liquid Lipstick formula. I don't know what it is, but it always just... <gasps> The doe foot's broken. Oh no. Well, you know what? I will just have to use a lip brush in the future. Um, but it looks like this. <laughs> That's really sad. I really like the doe foot on these. I will probably replace this at some point because look at that brown. It is so good. When it's on the lips, it almost looks black because of how dark it is, but it is a beautiful chocolate brown. So gorgeous, so grungy. When it gets to fall and winter, I wear this color so much, especially when I want that very deep, vampy lip where it's almost black, but not quite black. This is absolutely amazing. When the Melt Liquid lips dry down for me personally, they never get cakey or cracky or anything. But I will say I usually always have some sort of lip balm or lip mask underneath everything to make it a little more comfortable. But yeah, this is number 10, Ebony. This actually replaced Chocolate Wasted from Dose of Colors that I've been loving for years. I still love Chocolate Wasted, but the added depth to this one just made me knock that one out of the ring, you know? Number nine, I'm giving to the Unearthly Cosmetics, formerly Alien Cosmetics, Jeanette Satin Liquid Lipstick. I love this. I'm pretty sure these have gotten discontinued, so if you are interested in this color, try to jump on it ASAP. I'll have everything I can linked down below. Oh, just look at that, that beautiful mustardy, browny deliciousness. I love it and I love this formula. It's so comfortable and creamy and it doesn't get cakey and it lasts a long time. I really hope that they're only discontinuing these just because their old name is what's on the packaging. I really hope they bring it back with their new name because the colors that they came out with are so unique and beautiful and the formula is amazing. The packaging is so cute. It's got like a little snow globe on it. But yeah, I love this color. I adore it. I love this kind of a shade. You are gonna see a lot of grungy autumnal feels in this video and this has become one of my favorites since the end of last year. 
Number eight is my Melt Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ginger. There are quite a few Melt Liquid Lipsticks in this video because I just love the formula. And I'm pretty sure this shade in particular has made it in my top 10 for at least two, this might be the third year. I just love that rusty, grungy, orangey brown. Oh my goodness, it is just mouthwatering and amazing. Uh, I could stare at these colors that I'm gonna talk about today forever. This is like my favorite set of colors in the whole world. I love these grungy autumnal vibes. Oh, and this color is just precious. Honestly, it, I can't even really give you a firm reason on why some of these are ranked in the order that they are. I feel like maybe I ranked this one higher than the previous two just because I do reach for it a tad bit more. Maybe this color just gets me going a little bit more. Not sure, but this is where we're at so far. <laughs> And number seven is actually my final melt liquid lipstick. I thought there were four. There are three in this video. Final one, this is the shade Fawn. This is another one that, again, has definitely been in my top 10 for at least two, but this could be the third year. Um, it's just beautiful, delicious, grazy, taupey brown color. This is my go-to when I wanna wear cool tones. I actually almost wore this for today's video in the intro with my bluey purple look, um, but I decided to go with the pink to complement the liner and go with the whole by Pride Vibes. So yeah, this is number seven. I love it, I wear it a lot. I've been wearing it a lot for years. I think it's so grungy and unique and I love how even though it's so cool toned, it doesn't make me feel like I look dead. I feel like it has a richness to it even though it's cool toned. I do not know how to explain it. I do not have a single color the same as this one in my collection. It's very unique and it does it so well. I love this color. <laughs> Rounding out the bottom five of this top 10 with number six is my Black Moon Cosmetics Cider. Yes, it's getting really nasty. It's pretty old at this point and very well loved. It's getting a little, little cakey, little crusty on the packaging, but the formula is still amazing. And I love this color. It's been one of my favorites for such a long time. Ugh, just look at cider. It's such a perfect like mustard, little tinge of brown to it. So it doesn't look like you're wearing necessarily straight yellow on your lips. Like it is yellow, don't get me wrong, but it has a little bit of brown base to it to wear. For me, it almost feels like a neutral. I wear this constantly <laughs> during the fall season. It is just perfect. I always get so many compliments, even though it's such a weird color. And even though it's such a weird color, I had to rank it a little bit higher because I'm just so drawn to this color. I love Black Moon's formula. It's also very comfortable for me and doesn't get cakey or cracky. But again, keep in mind, I usually also do have a lip balm or something underneath. Um, yeah, this color is amazing. I love it. It makes me feel so cute and confident when I wear it. So yeah. I think this is like possibly the third year in a row that this has been in the top 10. It's just absolutely amazing. It's really cool revisiting this series and kind of seeing which products truly stand the test of time for me because throughout all of these categories, there are certain products that I have a hard time believing they'll ever leave my top 10 because I just love them that much. <laughs> but yeah, moving on to the top five now. Number five is Plath from KVD Beauty. With the KVD Beauty liquid lipsticks, I either love them or I hate them. I feel like the formula is either perfect, glides onto the lips so beautifully, makes them look so smooth and doesn't get cakey, or it's the exact opposite and it's like crunch city and doesn't look good at all. Plath is one of the ones that's amazing. And the color, it's just so, good that beautiful grungy reddish brown like i can't i can't i just i have no words it's so good i love the way this looks on my lips it goes with so many of the things that i like to wear i just love it i wear it definitely a little bit more frequently than the other ones i've talked about which is why i bumped it up to number five but this video Doing this order with these top tens, really all of them are so closely ranked. It's so hard to even put them in an order. But yeah, I landed for this one for number five because I just love it. It's so cute and comfortable and amazing. Number four is my Black Moon Cosmetics Hazel Liquid Lipstick. Again, very dingy looking and used and old looking because it's a very old package at this point. I've had this for a few years and it's still holding up beautifully. It is the most perfect olive green. I've tried a few olive green lips in my day, this one will always be my favorite. It's just so good. Again, I wear this a lot in the fall and like Halloween-y time. I love it, even though it literally is green, I feel like there's enough like grunginess to it that it literally also kind of works as a neutral for me. I don't know, I know I'm a little bit crazy with that, but I love this one. I feel so confident, even though this is such a weird color, I just have so much undying love for it. I had to rank it very highly. And again, even though it's like a super oddball color, I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. It. People always want to know what it is when I wear it, and I just love this lipstick. This is another one that I truly cannot see not being in my top 10 because it's just so cool. I live for it. 
Number three is my forever favorite black liquid lipstick. I get asked frequently enough what my favorite black lipstick is, and this is always the answer I give. However, I think it was out of stock for a long time. It might still be out of stock as I'm speaking right now. Again, I will have everything I can linked down below. If you ever catch this in stock, please buy it. Do yourself a favor. It's so good. Don't be scared of a black lip. A black lip can look so classy and glamorous. It can also look very alternative and punky grungy, you know? It's so fun. This is such a good black. It is so dark and it doesn't get streaky on me. It doesn't pull blue or purple. It is just such a true black and I love it. Even though I don't wear black every day, I love this one so much. I had to put it in my top three this time because it's just such a good go-to, you know? You really can wear black with anything and I stand by that. You can wear it with a super glam look. You can wear it with a super smoked out, like gothy smoky eye. You could even wear it with no eyeshadow at all and just maybe pair like cute freckles and some cute blush with the black lip. That is such a look as well. I love this lipstick and I feel like everybody needs to own it. <laughs> Please try a black and or brown lipstick at least once in your life. It will look good on you, I promise. Number two, this is a newer formula to my collection. Kaleidos came out with these lip clays this year. I almost actually added a few into this video. There were a few that I had in the possibility pile, but they all got knocked out because of ones that I just love a little bit more. But this shade in particular, Skinship, I have black lipstick on my nail. Skinship, I've been wearing so much. It's become like my go-to neutral. You may have noticed I didn't put too many lighter neutrals in this video. Everything was very grungy, a little bit deeper. Um, but this shade in particular, I don't know. It's just my perfect lighter neutral. I don't know what to say. It's so cute. I like pairing it with different lip liners. I like wearing it by itself. I like topping gloss over top of it. It's been such a good go-to for me. I feel like I can wear this with both cool toned and warm looks because it's so like neutral and it can kind of vibe either way. I don't know. It's just wonderful. And I really like this formula. I feel like the Cloud Lab Lip Clay like branding was the perfect way to describe it because it's such a like powdery formula. It goes on liquid and then it kind of dries into like this powdery feeling where it doesn't really transfer and it just feels very cushiony and pillowy on the lips. It's so long lasting and so incredibly comfortable. I love this formula and this one's my favorite. And finally, ranked number one, drum roll please. It is a longtime favorite, Dose of Colors Cork Liquid Lipstick. I actually usually have three or four liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors in this video, but this year a few of them got kind of knocked out of the ranking, but Quark will forever be one of my favorites, or my number one favorite, I guess I should say. It's just such a good grungy brown. This one in particular is actually almost gone. I already bought a new one. I just need to bust that one out because this one's getting a little bit low, but uh, I just love it. That grungy terracotta brown, kind of orangey, like a teddy bear color. It's just so cute. I wear this color a lot. I, If anything, I have to stop myself from wearing it more often because I like to switch it up for you guys specifically, but if I didn't have a channel, I'd probably wear this color way more often because it's just so good. One of my all time favorites and has been for literally years. I love this color. I really like Dose of Colors formula a lot as well. It's one of my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formulas. So yeah, I have a million shades from them and this one is my number one favorite in my whole collection. And now I'm just going to read everything off again one more time in order number 10 to number one, all swatched out. Melt Cosmetics Ebony, Unearthly Cosmetics Jeanette, Melt Cosmetics Ginger, Melt Cosmetics Fawn, Black Moon Cosmetics Cider, KVD Beauty Plath, Black Moon Cosmetics Hazel, Black Moon Cosmetics Sleepwalker, Kaleidos Skinship, and Dose of Colors Cork. I love these colors. I hope you love them as much as I do. I love talking about them, and it's just really cool for me to see which ones have stayed favorites for years, because there are quite a few. Thank you so much for watching my video, chatting about my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks. I love all of these so much with my whole entire heart. I think they are beautiful and perfect and grungy and autumnal and magical and I just absolutely love them. Again, I would love to hear your favorites and I would love to hear your thoughts on the ones I talked about today. Do you have any of them? Do you want any of them? Let's chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, I guess, you know, leave me some autumnal emojis. I feel like that fits the vibe from this video really well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I am posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.